<laughs> so hello, it's it's really nice to see you. <laughs> it's you know your looks are really convincing for me. Oh, so it's I'm great to be here. Thank you very much. Very nice to be here. I'm a bit uh, intimidated by you, the yeah. way you look. <laughs> a lot of people are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the uh, undercover festival is is approaching, uh, and I know that yesterday you've played a little promotional show in uh, Grunt and Voda. And yep. uh, how was it? How was the audience? It was great. Really, really nice by the river. Yeah. Nice scenery. Good audience. Great night. Everybody up and dancing. Uh, we had a lovely time, and they were a great, great crowd. Mm. And how do you feel today after the show? <laughs> Fresh, good, Fresh. yeah. You look really good, so <laughs> I think it's fine. Uh, and yeah, today uh, the real Guns N' Roses are playing uh, across the river, and maybe are you coming to see them? Yeah, it'd be great to see them, yeah. Really? Mm. Because yesterday you've also played with uh, Guns N' Roses, is it correct? Guns N' Roses, yeah, who are a very, very good tribute to them. Yeah. yeah. So um, maybe let's start from, from the beginning. And uh, can you tell us how did you find out that you are similar to those specific uh, musicians? <laughs> for, for me, I just, from the age of 16, everybody goes, oh, you look like Mick Jagger. And uh, I lived with that yeah. every day. So uh, it kind of led me. So it was natural. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, but, uh, I, just, I, I, yeah, I just always loved the music of the Stones and specifically Keith Richards' guitar playing. He does an unusual thing where he only plays with five strings on his guitar. I've just always done that and just you know, melted into it. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, how it all started? Like, where the, the idea of uh, performing in a tribute band uh, came from? Well, there, there is more a, a sort of culture of tribute acts in the United Kingdom. Yeah. Um, uh, there are lots that are not very good, and at the top there are a few that uh, people take seriously yeah. and so we we wanted to be that we wanted to be at the top and being taken seriously so uh, the band was put together of very, very good musicians yeah okay and uh, do people in the streets maybe mistake you often uh, if, we go, if we go out dressed <laughs> like yeah. this yeah yeah do you recall any funny situations about that uh, well the, the nothing that we can repeat <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> the problem is the it, is do you say no no we are not them yeah. and then they go oh uh, yeah. or so do you act like them or do you say no we're not them <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to mislead anybody but, no uh, no we don't want to make anybody feel foolish sure. but uh, it's nice if we can give them a bit of fun in their day yeah so. for mm. sure and uh, can you tell us maybe because uh, as you said it's it's kind of a culture in the UK to like with the tribute bands and it's really not so popular in Poland yeah. and can you tell us like what are the pros and cons of being in a tribute band like what is so special about that you mm. get for the for the audience the tribute bands you know you, you get to see exactly the songs you want to see it's it's you know we play all the hits um, that the stones might not necessarily play or are bored of um, you get a great show, you know, it is like seeing the Rolling Stones for half the price. And right. at the Undercover and Festival, you're going to get all these other bands as well. And you're going to, and you get close yeah. to the band. They're not on a TV screen at the end of a field, they are, you're close. And you can't get that with the real bands anymore. Yeah, that's but you can, so if you look like the real band and sound like the real band, and you have the experience of being close in a smaller venue, it's a good experience. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Uh, I'm looking forward to see you at the, the festival, so Good. <laughs> I need to experience that. Mm. And uh, have you ever had the opportunity to meet your, your idols, the, the real stones? I, I was meant, to, I was asked to be in a video mm -hmm. for Mick. His company asked me and I couldn't do it and I was very upset oh. about that. But uh, I've he, met them a couple of times. Them, so, yeah. Okay, mm. so how, how are they? How, how does it feel to, you know, look in the eyes of your, your idol, I guess? It's just lovely. They're, they're lovely people. Um, obviously, I wasn't dressed like this, so... <laughs> um, and they were all really nice. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, apart from the tribute bands, do you have any, like, projects with your own personal music? Uh, no, I have, I have zero musical talent, no. I, <laughs> as the band will tell you. It's, uh, we just focus on this. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. that's your main... We do this, do one thing properly. Okay. And do you guys um, know and meet with other tribute bands? Like, is it possible to, you know, go to the pub and meet uh, <laughs> Mick Jagger, Axl Rose and Elton John together <laughs> yeah. on a... <laughs> well, we're not that common. <laughs> 
Now, we, when we do festivals like this, yeah, we get together, we have fun, um, but not, we don't meet often, just at, at Okay, just on the spe special occasions. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like one, one in the lifetime occasion to meet all those people uh, together. This is, this, all, this is a light, the great lineup, and it yeah. is a once in a lifetime yeah. chance, I think. <coughs> okay, so uh, in September you're well, coming back to Poland for uh, I think August. August. In August, oh, it's because of you. <laughs> 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 Thank God we, yeah. there we go. Lucky August. we were here. Thirteenth yeah. and fourteenth. Yeah, in August. August you're coming back to Poland yeah. to play on the on the festival. And what can we expect? It's a day. Of, I don't know what time it's now. It's a day of great great bands. I mean, just. Uh, you know, the, if you are not a major fan of all these bands, what you're getting is the hits, the the songs you know, the mm. songs you want to hear from each band, uh, which is a good day. And uh, have you played in Poland before? We played well last night, and we played uh, at the Hilton in Warsaw a few years ago okay. for a, a private party. And how do you feel about the Polish audience? Good, good. Yeah, we lovely. like it. We like yeah, it. Yeah, here. absolutely. Yeah. Where where is the best audience? Poland, Poland. Of course. <laughs> it's your favourite. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a weird thing. I mean, the Stones seem to be a lot more popular in Europe than mm. they are in England now at home. So mm. we love coming over here. Mm. That's great. So thank you. It, it's, it's a real pleasure to, to talk to you. And I know that uh, you also wanted to, to talk about the festival for a, for a little second. Could you like uh, invite our, our listeners to the festival and to your show? Come on down, August the 13th and 14th, and see us in Warsaw at the Undercover, Undercover Festival. Festival. <laughs> we do that again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all you Escar up listeners, get yourself down to the Undercover Festival, 13th and 14th of August. Come and see some great bands. We'll see you there. To witaj i właśnie mieliśmy okazję tutaj rozmawiać z jednym z zespołów, które wystąpią na, na Undercover Festival. I czy mogłabyś powiedzieć nam, jakby kogo możemy się jeszcze spodziewać i co w ogóle zobaczymy na tym festiwalu? Mm -hmm. No, przede wszystkim myślę, że po wczorajszym koncercie z wielkim przekonaniem mogę powiedzieć, że możemy się spodziewać niesamowitych emocji. Wczoraj nasze dwa zespoły, które zobaczymy także w sierpniu na naszym festiwalu, czyli Guns N' Roses i Not The Rolling Stones, dały naprawdę czadu. Publiczność też nie zawiodła. Były ogromne emocje, była niesamowita atmosfera, było dużo tańca, śpiewu i e, powrotu do wspomnień, tak? bo te zespoły, e, przynajmniej część z nich, te, które zobaczymy w sierpniu, to są e, zespoły, które Tribute bandy, które śpiewają, które odtwarzają e, muzykę, e, kapel, które już niestety e, nie istnieją albo po prostu już ich nie można oglądać na żywo, co jest uważam też e, jedną z e, wielkich zalet tego festiwalu, tak? bo na festiwalu będzie można zobaczyć między innymi e, tribute band e, Davida Bowie, czy Queen, czy Nirwany, e, ale też oczywiście e, zespoły e, tribute bandy wykonujące muzykę kapel współczesnych, takich jak Coldplay, czy e, The Rolling Stones, e, czy Guns N' Roses. Także czeka nas ogromna dawka emocji i zapraszamy naprawdę zarówno fanów tych zespołów, które już niestety nie występują, ale także tych, e, które, e, które jeszcze można zobaczyć na żywo. Może powiemy jeszcze kiedy i gdzie to się wszystko odbędzie? Tak, to będzie w Warszawie, w Parku przy Zamku Jazdowskim. Doskonała okazja na spędzenie niesamowitego długiego weekendu, bo to jest 13 i 14 sierpnia. Także zapraszamy bardzo serdecznie. To na pewno będzie wieczór pełen energii. Zdecydowanie. Zdecydowanie zapraszamy na, na Undercover Festival. Zapraszamy serdecznie.